Hi, in today's tutorial, we'll look at uh, the vapor pressures of solutions. Specifically, we'll look at uh, a Ralph's law. Uh, we want to see how we can calculate uh, the vapor pressure of a solution using Ralph's law. Example, calculate the vapor pressure at uh, 25 degrees for a solution prepared by dissolving 65 grams of glucose, molar mass 180.156, in 210 grams of water. At 25 degrees, the vapor pressure of water is 23.76 millimeter mercury. Solution. We know that um, uh, vapor pressure of a solution is given by more fraction of a solvent. In this case, the solvent is water times the vapor pressure of water. So first of all, we need to calculate the uh, moles of the solute, which is glucose, moles of glucose, which is equal to uh, the mass of glucose, that is 65 grams, over 180.156 grams per mole. So we divide, then we get 0.361 moles of glucose. Then now uh, we need also to calculate the moles of water. Moles of water, which is equal to water, we have 210, 210 grams over molar mass of water, 18.02 grams per mole. Uh, then we, we need to divide. Where when we divide, we will we'll get 11.65 moles of water. Then now we need to calculate the more fraction of water. More fraction of water. So I calculate the more fraction of water. Uh, more fraction of water is given by moles of water. The moles of water calculated is 0 0.11.65 moles over uh, total moles of the solution. So we have moles of water, which is 0 0.11.65 uh, moles plus moles of glucose 0 0.361 moles so we add then we get 11.65 moles over uh, summation uh, we have 12.011 moles then this will cancel uh, when we divide we'll get uh, 0. Uh, nine six nine so this is the more fraction then now we need to replace in the uh, formula for Rouse law the more fraction of water uh, which is 0 0.969 then the the vapor pressure of water given is 23.76 millimeters mercury then we need to multiply the, the product you get 23.02 millimeters mercury so as you can see the vapor pressure of water has been lowered from 73.73.76 to 23.02 millimeters mercury so this is the effect of the solute, non-volatile solute, in this case it lowers the vapor pressure. So uh, in the next uh, tutorial, uh, we we'll look at, um, uh, we want to see how we can calculate uh, vapor pressures uh, using uh, ionic uh, solutes. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.